Hi, my name is Alan Lamont. I've talked in other messages about how really world politics today is governed by the Vatican, but also the Crown Empire. Now, the Crown, what is the Crown? Okay, I need to explain this. The modern world of the so called Western civilization, you know, began at the end of the 17th century with the blossoming of the British Empire. That empire actually began several hundred years earlier with the establishment of the City of London, which is now an 800 year corporation that controls finance uh, uh, from an entity called the Crown. And this entity is the creator and controller of the Bank of England, the US Federal Reserve. Uh, also controls the World Bank, the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, uh, the European Union, and various cartels and corporations across the earth. The Crown identity is kept most secret. And the Crown Bank of England uh, really took control and assumed control of the United States during the Roosevelt administration in 1901 to 1909 when its agents who were really crown agents, JP Morgan, they took over 25% of American business. The crown has never really been the king or queen of England since the establishment of the corporate body but the British monarchy does rule parliament in Great Britain and it is really a figurehead for the crown so it does have power through a Vatican knighthood called the Order of the Garter. Uh, but the Crown is not the King or Queen of England. They are just figureheads for the Crown. Uh, and they are really just an established monarchy of this corporate body. The Crown is the Directorate of the Corporation and Great Britain is ruled by the Crown which is the City of London, not the Queen. And the city is run by the Bank of England, which is a private corporation. There is a private state, a private corporation existing in Britain and within the centre of London. And this city is a sovereign state located in the heart of Greater London. It became a sovereign state in 1694 when King William III of Orange privatised and turned the Bank of England over to the uh, Vatican banksters. Uh, and they are today the Knight Templar uh, Vatican uh, knights that rule the financial world and this city this corporation this crown is not subject to British law but it has its own courts own laws its own flag its own police force exactly like the Vatican City State and uh, Washington DC Columbia it's also separate from the metropolitan city crown corporation the police drive red police cars and the uniforms are different from the metropolitan police also the Crown in London houses the privatised Bank of England, the Lloyds of London, the London Stock Exchange and all British banks. The branch offices of 30, sorry, 385 foreign banks as well as 70 US banks as well as Street Street uh, newspapers and publishing monopolies also controls the world media uh, and world intelligence. It's really out of London, the Crown City of London which is also the headquarters of British Freemasonry overseen by the British monarchy and also underneath her is the, uh, the Duke of uh, Kent but it's really from London that World Freemasonry is governed and this includes uh, even the Grand Orient uh, Masonic Order and also the Washington DC Scottish Rite in 1945 the Bank of England was nationalised by the Labour government and is allegedly, you know, no longer a private bank, but the bank actually, you know, it governs over even uh, the Federal Reserve. And that is ruled over by the Rothschilds. But they are really, you know, just bankers for the Pope. They are just guardians of the Vatican Treasury. The City of London also has its own Lord Mayor, different from, you know, the current mayor uh, and it's really the mayor who has the power in the Crown Corporation and also you know they really represent the bloodlines the royal banking families 
the merchants of the earth. And when the Queen wishes to conduct business in the city, she is met by the Lord Mayor at Temple Bar. The Temple Bar really does rule over the United States of America. The Temple Bar and their associate franchises come from what's called the Four Inns of the Temples of Core. The Inner Temple and the Middle Temple. You can do this on the internet, all you have to do is go on Google and type in uh, Inner Temple, Middle Temple, or websites will come up. On which you will see a Pegasus white horse with the sunburst of the Jesuit seal of the Jesuit order around this Pegasus horse. It's really a white horse and you know there's a prophecy in the Bible about this. In Revelation 6 verse 2 it talks about the Antichrist. It says, I saw and behold a white horse and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown was given unto him and he went forth conquering and a conquer. Revelation 6 verse 2. The white horse is the symbol of the British Empire, Order of the Garter, Crown Corporation. This is revealed in scripture and it's very clear. It's also the same white horse which is the symbol for the CFR, Council on Foreign Relations. It's a Jesuit symbol, uh, Pegasus. Uh, you know, and it's also uh, the Jesuit order, the Vatican Jesuit papacy govern the Honourable Society of the Inner Temple. Now the Inner Temple is the real core group that govern London, the city of London, the corporation. And the city of London, you know, also governs Parliament uh, and really you know I've said previously that the Queen really is the figurehead for this corporation but the Queen actually does have authority over the Prime Ministers through the as I've said Vatican Knight of the Order of the Garter and so that's what I'm revealing in this audio is the real control you know that's hidden and the whole earth really is governed by the Crown and they are just you know what's called crown colonies really they belong to the city they belong to the crown empire and it governs Africa it still governs China it governs India regardless of you know what we've seen over the last few decades uh, the colonies of the earth are really just crown colonies the United States of America are states of the crown and so this is the real truth about the new world order and I'm bringing it out again I'm bringing it out in different ways but this is the real revelation of the structure. Okay, my name is Alan Lamont and thanks for listening and as always again all roads lead to Rome, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth.